The Peace Region's Best Music Mix, Peace FM. I'm Linda Morgan, and I've got Peter Martin here, who's the Health Service Administrator for Northern Health for Chetwind and Tumblr Ridge. And, of course, Peace FM's General Manager, Leo Sabolski here. How's it going today, guys? It's Very going really well. Very well, thank you. I have a few questions for you, Peter. Uh, there was a survey done in 2017, mm-hmm. and it was quite an extensive survey, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So we we uh, we interviewed and had focus groups and surveys with residents, members of Soto and West Moberly First Nations, um, a whole bunch of people. It was done online and in person. And so we got a number of responses back, which led to some priorities uh, you know, the purpose of this uh, document was to determine what makes health Chetwin healthy, what does health, uh, Chetwin need to maintain um, healthiness, and what's health services that need, uh, and those types of things. And from that, we came up with three basic recommendations. Yeah, the one big recommendation was recruiting and retaining doctors. What's happened since uh, 2017? <clears throat> well, it was, it was uh, a little bit... Uh, more since uh, more since recruiting doctors, it was uh, recruiting doctors and increasing health services um, overall. Uh, right now, Chetwin is served by five doctors, uh, which is easily enough to take care of its population. But what we have d- done is seen increases in other health service professionals that also provide care. Uh, so we now have uh, we share a 0.4 dietitian with uh, we share a dietitian with uh, Tumblr Ridge. Uh, we've increased serv- service for uh, respiratory therapy. Uh, we've increased um, our uh, social our social program officer positions at the clinic, which sort of helps look after people that have. Uh, social issues or mental health and addiction, well, actually mental health and addictions issues, basically. Yeah. One of the big things uh, that uh, I'm wondering about is how could a resident of Chetwin, just an ordinary guy like me, welcome physicians and nurses and, and help out to keep them? Well, as a, as a reasonably recent uh, resident of Chetwin or a newcomer still, I'd say that one of the things that happens is Chetwin kind of hides its light under a bush in terms of how friendly it is and how much there is to do here. And so I think if the residents really went out of their way to show uh, the new healthcare professionals coming in just what a great place this was to live, I think that would bring people in. So it's, it's really a conscious decision to accentuate all the positive that it is in this community. That's a good, good thing. That's a very good thing. Now, in 2017, a lot of specialized services were identified as a need. Uh, What's happened? And uh, one of the big concerns also was with uh, uh, midwives and and pregnant uh, situations. Can you elucidate that a bit? Sure. So one of the things that we we offer here, and we offered even in 2017, was Um, prenatal care to expectant mums and families and postnatal care. Um, And so what did not happen was the actual moment of birth. uh, We did not do deliveries at Chetwin General Hospital unless they were entirely unexpected and the baby was coming right now. Uh, What we have done is we've increased maternity services uh, in Chetwin. The uh, the midwives from Dawson Creek Midwifery are now coming down here and will be holding clinics once or twice per month for their existing clients in Chetwin. We will still, however, uh, ensure that deliveries are taking place up in Dawson Creek. Uh, the reason for that is it's really important to have a surgical backup. In the reports that I read, they also discuss geriatric care and respite. Can you? explain some of that because we do have two wonderful places in town with seniors. Yeah. So we we have had a long-standing relationship with Sereris Place, which um, obviously continues to this day. Uh, one of the things that we have done is we have developed something called an adult day away program, which was for short-term respite for seniors. Uh, we hold that at Sereris Place and we've hired a supportive independent living program worker to take care of that particular program. Excellent. Um, That's one of the big things with our 
population that's aging. Well, would you like to summarize and outline um, some of the highlights that we've missed? And I, I'm sure there's many things that can be covered. Okay. I think some of the other things that uh, we're doing is we're developing a model of a patient-centered model of care for uh, the old multi-level care wing that's now been uh, renamed Mountain View Cottages. Um, and so we'll be looking at trying to develop a more uh, patient-centric approach to the care we deliver. We've done an excellent job of providing physical care and nutrition, but now we're trying to expand <clears throat> and do more uh, in terms of the socialization for people, their recreation, those types of things. I think the other thing that you can see a lot of is that we're reaching out more to industry. I know down at the primary care clinic that uh, several of our nurses have gone out to industry to do things like immunizations, blood pressure checks, uh, talking about sleep hygiene, those types of things. So all that's going on as well. So. From what you've told us uh, today, it sounds like a remarkable two years. It's hard to believe that it was 2017. So congratulations. And uh, well, I think if you. you had a report card, you would score very high in the report card. <laughs> well, thank you. I hope so. Uh, and I have a really good team of frontline leaders and all staff, actually, at Chetwood General Hospital. Um, and the physicians are just excellent to work with. And it has been a team effort for all of us. Well, thank you very much.